Oh, hey, I didn't notice you there. Well, since you're here, why don't I show you some products? Uh, if you don't know me, my name is Austin Serkin, and you guessed it, I'm a sales engineer for South Carolina and Georgia. So today what I want to talk to you about are some sensors involved in pneumatics. A lot of times my customers, I find, are using read switches and Hall effect sensors. And these are error prone, especially over time. So I'm going to show you a couple different sensing technologies that should reduce unplanned downtime and save you a lot of headaches. So let me make a quick adjustment of the camera here. And here we've got a pneumatic cylinder. So let me start on this face. We've got an actuator so I can have an open and a closed. So these two sensors here, they look very similar to reed switch, but they're not. They're actually a magneto resistive sensor. And you see this bottom one, since we're closed, has an LED on. So I've got an open or a closed, and I've got this LED on for the open position. So these sensors are uh, non-contact. So unless you hit it with a hammer or light it on fire or something like that, it shouldn't fail over time. If you follow the spaghetti back to the connector, you'll see that there's only one. So I've got two sensors, one connector. We call this our V-twin magnetic cylinder sensor. So changing things up again, I've got a very similar looking housing for my sensor that's installed in the slot, but it's installed in the middle of this slot. So this is our teachable magnetic cylinder sensor. And with this guy, I've got this little teach button here that I can teach the outputs. So right now, I'm gonna hold this down and this green LED is gonna indicate I'm holding it down. There's my first output, so it's closed right now. So I'm teaching this the closed position. Press that. Now I'm gonna teach it the open position. So I'll open it up all the way. I'm gonna hold this down. I'm gonna wait until the next LED pops up right there. And I'm gonna press the button again. So now I've taught my, my open and I've taught my closed. So this is one sensor and it has configurable teach points across uh, a 60 millimeter gap. So about an inch from either end of the sensor. Now, if you need something a little bit more, we got this guy here. So this is a magnetic position sensor. We call it the BMP for short. And it does all the bells and whistles of what we just showed plus a little bit extra. So some cool things about this sensor is that if I hold it up closer, you'll see there's two notches. It gives you continuous position feedback between those two notches. This particular one has a 32 millimeter stroke length and it goes up in increments of 32 millimeters all the way up to 256, which is about five inches or so. You'll see that this cylinder that I've been showing has C slot type slots. Now, this sensor is going to be the same product that you order for any cylinder type. The only thing that changes are these little gold mounting brackets. So if you've got a T-slot or a round body cylinder, it doesn't matter. This sensor stays the same. The same story for your output. We can provide discrete outputs. We can provide analog current or voltage outputs. And we also have an IO-Link output. Again, this sensor stays the same. The only change you make is if you need a different stroke length. So let's prove that it works. Let me pull up this analog sensor tester value here. And adjust the camera so you can see the number a little bit better. So I'm going to move this guy in and out and it's gonna be a zero to 10 analog voltage output. As I open the stroke up, value goes up. And when I'm out of position, this yellow LED will come on and it will go to 10 volts means I'm out of the stroke range. And there's the other end of it. So we've got three different sensing options. Our V-twin, two sensors to one connector. We've got our teachable cylinder sensor with two outputs for one sensor. And then we've got our continuous uh, cylinder position sensor. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me again. My name is Austin. And that is all for me today. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.